All right, now we are back with the GSMC Wrestling the Warrior Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. Thank you for tuning into the show every Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific Time, 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Every Monday through Friday, you have your boy E, the Wrestling God. I'm just kidding. No, no, I'm not. You know, I'm not that conceited. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, so we recently uh, talked about WWE NXT review. Make sure you check that out on YouTube. I'm going to publish a video shortly after we go off the air. But um, now we're going to talk about our second segment. We're going to talk about AEW Dynamite. But before we move on to that, I want to remind you guys always, always, always to hit up the GSMC podcast.net. Shoot me your questions, comments, and concerns. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Tell me what you want to see that happens on AEW Dynamite. Let me know who you think is going to win the fatal four-way match for the WWE NXT World Heavyweight Championship at Heat Wave. Anything's welcome. Anything's welcome. A thousand to ten percent in terms of professional wrestling. There are no wrong answers. We're just we're just guys. We're just guys. We're just boys. Or if you're a girl out there. Kudos to you for watching professional wrestling. That's badass. Uh, <laughs> no, moving on. Uh, but, uh, you know, I kind of want to just kind of reciprocate, just kind of have this feeling of like you're sitting at a bar or you're sitting at a table. You know, you don't have to be drinking, whatever. Um, just hanging out, talking to your best friend about the thing you love most, professional wrestling. In terms of professional wrestling, imagination runs wild. Hulkamania runs wild. The Macho Man Randy. I'm just kidding. No, I can't even do it. Oh, that kind of hurt my throat trying to do the Macho Man voice. Never going to do that again. Or maybe I will. I'm just kidding. No. Uh, but uh, we're going to move on. Uh, so once again, the link is at the GSMC podcast on that. Be a part of the show. Be a part of the show. Don't be too shy. Do not be too shy. Now we're going to jump on into our AEW time in my preview. So tonight we have a celebration. Celebrate! (laughs) We have Mercedes Monet celebrating her two belts championship. She defeated Stephanie Bacure, the New Japan Professional Wrestling Women Strong Champion at AEW Forbidden Door. It was epic. It was cool. The match lasted more than 10 minutes, which is, you know, amazing in terms of uh, women's wrestling. Give that, you know, credit to Tony Khan. Love how the promotions, you know, it's kind of crazy. Well, not, you know, I'm not not trying to sound like, you know, like I never really expected it. Women's wrestling is becoming more and more prominent on the match. It's to the point where People look forward to it. People look forward to it, like you see on WWE NXT, like you see on uh, you know TBS and TNT every you know uh, uh, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday on uh, Dynamite, Rampage, Collision doesn't matter. You look forward to seeing these girls out there go out there and try to kick some ass, and uh, you know thousand and ten percent, hundred percent. They go out there and they absolutely give it their all, and you definitely notice it. It's definitely one of those things that like slaps you in the face. Prominent. Very prominent, very beneficial for, you know, marketing techniques within professional wrestling, but most of all beneficial for, you know, just inspiring young women out there, just trying to get them out there. Those who have a very, you know, a very, you know, passionate approach toward professional wrestling. This is a way for women to actually go out there, you know, go out there and be like, you know what? I could be a professional wrestler. I could go out there, you know, find your local wrestling promotion. I did not know that there are actually so many, so damn many wrestling promotions in California until I kind of, you know, started doing this podcast. I was like, you know, I was, you know, it's kind of crazy how algorithms kind of work on social media, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, whatever. You like, you like something or you spend a little bit of time like on that little snippet and it just it analyzes you it tells you you know they kind of be like so then i'm getting a whole bunch of like um you know recent i'm getting a lot of local wrestling promotions like in long beach like even in my backyard even in riverside california i'm like dude like i want to see that i want to see that stuff i think there's i think it's no, I you know I, I don't want to I don't want to jack it up. But as soon as I find it out, I will send out a short. But wrestling is everywhere, guys. Wrestling is everywhere. If you have a dream of being a professional wrestler, don't be too shy. Check out your local wrestling, uh, you know, wrestling promotion. You know, go out there. Maybe you might wind up in WWE. Maybe we could talk about it here on this podcast. Maybe you could be like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna hit up my old friend Eric from the GSMC Wrestling Lord podcast and be like, you let's interview. 
I would love to interview you. Any wrestlers watching right now, I would absolutely 110% love to interview you. Or if you even have a passion for wrestling, I, I love interviewing fans. I love having disputes and disagreements, talking about wrestling. That's just what this is what all this show, you know, this is what it's about. So uh, once again, we have Mercedes Monet celebrating her two belts. We also are live in Chicago. Should be pretty, you know, I think that's pretty badass. Uh, love Chicago. Chicago is a huge, you know, wrestling town. You're also going to see a men's own heart cup match. A semifinal match between the Bastard Pat uh, Pack against uh, uh, Brian Danielson. I want to see Brian Danielson win. I really honestly do right now. I'm kind of 75% Danielson, 25% the Bastard. Because I feel like there's one more run. I feel like there's one more run for Brian. I feel like he, you know, he's a little up there in age. I don't want him to overall quit professional wrestling. I would honestly love to, you know, excuse me, would honestly love to see him kind of move forward with this promotion in AEW, would be very prominent, would be very impressive if he goes out there and and fights Swerve Strickland for the AEW World Heavyweight Championship at Wembley Stadium all in. That would be so flipping cool. That'd be awesome. Next, we have a men's Owen Hart uh, Cup quarterfinals matchup. Jeff Jarrett against the wild card. I do not know who the wild card is going to be. My speculations is uh, Hangman Adam Page, maybe Ricochet, maybe. Oh, my God, that'd be so cool. But that's probably not going to happen because uh, you had Matthew and Nicholas Jackson of the Elite come out and they were like, they're like, you know what? They're going to ultimately bring this championship back to the Elite. So I'm thinking maybe... It's someone in their kind of genre, in their kind of area. Right now, the elite has every single piece of the gold besides, obviously, the women's championship and also um, also the AEW World Heavyweight Championship from Swerve Strickland. And they've had their, you know, kind of had their bouts with Swerve Strickland, kind of had their problems with Swerve. Swerve, Swerve. But it's going to be interesting. I can't wait to find out. Dynamite's happening right now. Can't wait to watch it. Have it recorded. Have not checked on a single shred of social media on TikTok, Twitter, slash X, Instagram, all that jazz. Going to be completely in the dark about it. Can't wait to find out, you know, what happens next. Next, we have Chris Statlander finally with Willow of Nightingale. They got a little taste of each other at the AEW Forbidden Door Zero Hour. Wasn't enough. Wasn't enough. I want to see these two girls Totally throw haymakers at each other. I want to see them, you know, rip each other apart. Former best friends, Chris Statlander turns her back on Willow Nightingale at AEW's Double or Nothing. But I don't know. I I am so part of Willow. I love Willow Nightingale. Definitely, she you know she's the future of, the, of uh, AEW. Uh, Chris Statlander, she's so strong. She's so strong. Such a good heel. I, you know, I feel like if she kind of disappears off the screen for a little bit longer with Stokely, maybe perhaps she loses this match against Chris Statlander, against the, uh, sorry, Willow Nightingale, get a little t uh, too ahead of myself. But overall, Chris Statlander, it's probably the best opponent for Willow Nightingale for two reasons. Reason number one, they know each other. They've been a, a, a part of each other's lives since they started wrestling together back in New York City. Reason number two. They know each other. How much more do you need? They know each other. They've been training, you know, back to back since they met up back in AEW. There's no one that could perform better matches than people who know each other. That's why people kind of, you know, when you see the edge, well, Adam Copeland against uh, Christian Cage for a street fight, the reason why the match is so good is because they know each other. They've known each other for a pretty long time. That's something you can't, you know, dispute that. That's something that, you know, when you see Triple H and Shawn Michaels fight in a one-on-one -on -one match and it's so good, that's because they've known each other for so damn long. When you see The Undertaker fight against mankind, it's because they know each other. The best thing about professional wrestling is probably the best thing you can see in terms of professional uh, sports. Team chemistry. Obviously, in professional wrestling, it's not team chemistry. It's like Superstar to superstar, you know, relations. It's about, you know, it's not about how big and strong you were. WWE's done that in the past. Um, WCW did in the past with uh, Bill Goldberg. Be like, yeah, let's get this strong guy from from uh, from football and have him just reign terror. 
on the WCW Nitro roster and the Thursday Night Thunder roster. Yeah, that was a good idea. Not really. That guy injured more superstars. Injured. Took out the amazing, the incomparable. The best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be, Bret Hart. Wasn't a good idea. Wasn't a good idea. So the best thing, a lot of undervalue here in terms of professional wrestling and in all of sports. The best thing you can do is establish team chemistry and let it all unfold, building for major success. All right, and uh, lastly, we're going to talk about our AEW International Championship match between Will Ospreay against Daniel Garcia. Um, Daniel Garcia got the opportunity from Will Ospreay. Will Ospreay is going to come tonight. He's going to be pissed. He's also going to be a little. He's going to be a little diminished. I feel like if he's going to lose the AEW International Championship title, it'd be kind of fitting for him to kind of lose it tonight so he can start fresh. No, 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 no more Don Callis family done with that. Daniel Garcia finally gets the push he deserves. Maybe fights, uh, you know, MJF for the AEW International Championship at, uh, you know, Wembley Stadium all in. A couple of things to look forward to on AEW Dynamite. We will, we will hear from the returning Burt Baker. We will hear from Don Callis probably to uh, address Will Ospreay's uh, subordination, not taking the screwdriver. We will, uh, you know, find out who the wild card will be. My bet. I have three. I have the Hangman Adam Page, Ricochet. And Dijak. Dijak recently got released from uh, you know, W from the WWE NXT roster. He was seen backstage at AEW Forbidden Door. Maybe he finds a way to be like a bodyguard for the elite big guy. You know, honestly, if you have if I had to put my money on that, that would probably be uh, you know, my best speculation. All right, so guys, do not go anywhere. We're gonna talk about the future, the future of WWE Raw, the future of WWE SmackDown. In terms of television rights, so hey, do not go anywhere. 